Greetings and salutations. In this video, I'm going to help you fix a Samsung Galaxy Tab that is no longer able to install apps on it. Doesn't matter what model that you have. This particular one is a 9A, but you might have a 10, 10A, a 7, 8, 12, whatever. Same concept. So the most obvious thing is to actually restart the tablet. If you haven't tried that already, do so. And you do that, of course, by holding down the power button, which is the single button here on the right. You hold that down, and then what's, then you could actually restart it, and then see if that will fix the issue. A lot of times that, will uh, that alone will fix the issue. Next thing is to make sure that you got a good internet connection. So it might be that several people in the home are using the Wi-Fi and you're not getting a good connection. You might want to try to bring the tablet closer to, actually bring it closer to the Wi-Fi router and that might help you install it. A lot of times that will fix the issue. Next thing I want you to do is to check the storage that you have enough space on your tablet. And of course to do that, go to settings. All right, find settings. It looks like a little gear shift icon. Click settings. Go to device care. From di device care, look at storage. So as you can see there, I got plenty of storage left. I got 37%. If this bar is all the way to the right, what's happening is, is that you don't have enough space to put new apps. Even if it's closed, even if it's like 70 or 80%, go ahead and inst uninstall any unwanted apps. So to do that, only thing you have to do is, for example, let's go to... So, for example, let's go to Netflix. Just hold your finger down onto it. And then click uninstall. That should only take a couple of minutes. And just go through all your apps and un uninstall any unnecessary apps and see if that will free up space so you can install your app. Now, next thing I want you to do is to clear your cache. And cache is basically like temporary memory. And that sometimes can get overwhelmed where you can't install app. So what you're going to do is go back to settings. And then from here, what you're going to do is go to apps. And then from apps, what you're going to do is go to Google Play Store. Google Play Store. Click on storage. And what I want you to do is right below here is, is click on clear cache. And that usually will take a few minutes. And then after you do that, go ahead and restart the tablet and then see if you can install your new app. Now next, I want you to go back to settings and we're going to check our date and time. Go to settings. And then what we're going to do is go to general management. And then what we're going to do is click on dating time. And you want to make sure that this blue is already connected to automatic date and time. That way it will be able to read uh, via Wi-Fi what the exact date and time is. Some people will have that off and then you'll have a completely wrong time or date. And that will definitely mess up installing a new app. Now if that doesn't work, what I want you to do is to remove your Google account. Go to home. Go back to settings. And by the way, a shortcut to settings is this little white line. If you get all the way to the right, just click that and you can click settings like that. Click on manage accounts. And then what you're going to do is find your Google account with your Gmail on it. Go ahead and click Google. And then what you're going to do from here is remove account. And then after you remove it, go ahead and reinstall the account and restart the tablet. Now, if that doesn't work, what I want you to do is open up Play Store. I want you to click on your account logo up here on the upper. Click on Settings. Click on About. And then from here, what I want you to do is click Update Play Store. That can take a few minutes. Restart your tablet and see if that works. Go ahead and click Settings again. We're going to click on Software Update. And then we're going to click download and install. And that might fix your problem. It'll restart and then see if that works. Now, in settings, if that does not work, your last case scenario is to go ahead and do a full factory reset of your tablet. Um, it's not as complicated as, it, as you think it is. And it's not going to be as much of a mess as you think it is. 
um, and it'll revi revitalize your tablet, especially if you've been using it for a couple of years. I recommend people anyway to re re do a full factory restore on their tablet anyway after like a year and a half or something. So in order to do a full factory restore, the only thing you have to do, click on general management. And then what you're gonna do is click on reset and just follow the directions and you can do a full factory reset. And that most likely, if nothing else has worked, that most likely will work to do a full factory reset. And go ahead and install that app that you've been needing to install first. All right, I do appreciate you watching. Go ahead and make sure you subscribe. I'm going to put in the comment section where you can get an Amazon Fire. Yes, yeah, Samsung Galaxy Tabs are good, but I'm going to be honest with you. The Fire seems like it's less problematic, and you can get a good Fire for, you know, 150 bucks. So I'll put in the comment section where you can get one off of Amazon if you're looking for a new tablet. All right, thanks so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe.